Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to calibrate a digital scale and today I'm going to use a A12E indicator and I will be calibrating a 2 metric ton that is 2000 kg scale. Uh, therefore to show you the step by step how we start, uh, we start by pressing the hash key on our indicator then put the power switch on as you can be able to see. When it is on like that, release the hash indicator. In this step, it shows you you want it to run off to which nearest point. Therefore, you can't be able to change this by pressing the zero. The, sorry, the tear key. Therefore, you can see it is changing to 5, 10, 20, 50, 1. For my case, I like to work with 2. At this stage, you press the hash key. This gives you the number of points that you want. You can be able to change this by pressing the, the tear key. As you can see, it is 0 0.00. You can change it to 1, to a whole number. You can put it one decimal point and two decimal points. That is 0, 0.00. We are going to calibrate at that point. Then you press the hash key. This tells you, this is, it indicates full. Full means the capacity of the scale that we are calibrating. Therefore, we press there so that we can be able to say the maximum load that should be on this scale. For our case, which is 2,000 metric tons. But if you wanted to change, you can change this point that you can see by pressing the tear key. Then it changes the position as you can be able to see. And if you wanted to change the value here, you press 0. As you can see, it is changing. For our case, we want it to be 2,000 2, metric tons. That is 2,000.00. Then we press the hash key. It tells you no load. You have to ensure at this stage there is no load on your scale. Then you press the hash key. It tells you add load. Now, we add our load that we have here. And for our case, we have 40 kgs. Therefore, we put our load up. have a load of 40 kgs, then we press there and we now put insert the capacity that we have by changing the position of this dot, then we add 40 kgs. After this we press the hash key and at this stage now you need to save the calibration that we have input. Therefore we open the switch that is behind here. press the switch so that you can save the calibration. As you can see, our scale now, we have been able to calibrate it. We can remove one of the loads to see whether it's press calibration. And you can see it's measuring 20.00. We can add it back. And you can see our scale is well calibrated. Therefore, thank you very much. I hope you learned how we can do the calibration of an A12E indicator.